Hey loves, Kim here and I'm back with another video. So if this is your first time on the channel, I just would like to say welcome. Hi, my name is Kim. I'm primarily a Sims 4 builder, but I recently got the Eco Lifestyle Expansion Pack. I'm doing a giveaway on my channel and I thought why not actually do some gameplay with you guys. We can learn more about this pack together and just really enjoy what this pack is giving so yeah here it is i'm so excited and i'm in the world of new crest um <laughs> the reason why i decided to build in new crest was because i was originally going to build in evergreen harbor which is the world that came with the eco lifestyle expansion pack however there was trash all over the ground and it wasn't in my ministry that day to build there so i decided to come on to newcrest where it was a completely blank slate and that gave me an idea to to really build this world out possibly and actually do some gameplay so we can both learn about this pack so yeah like i mentioned i am currently doing a giveaway the giveaway details are actually in the video of the build called the modern container home i will have a link in the description box and also put a card on the screen so you guys can check that out after this video the giveaway will be open until july 1st and then i will announce the winner on July the 3rd so be sure to check out that video and do all of the things that are listed to be eligible for this giveaway if you all are interested so yeah here we are we are focusing on this family there's only one family here um, and they are the stamper family so this is a family of five and <laughs> there's five people Wow this is why I never really do family gameplay because there's just so much going on. It's a lot to keep track of, but I'm ready for a challenge and I just want to play The Sims 4 and I felt like there's no better time than now to just start and actually do some gameplay that's not super structured um that is a little bit more chill but also just exploring the aspects of this expansion pack so i actually created a backstory for them when does that ever happen never but i love this family so much and i had them in my head when i was making a build so here it goes their backstory says grayson anita and their three children maya mckenna and kingsley are new in the undeveloped town of newcrest Originally from Willow Creek, the pair jumped at the opportunity to build their modern dream home as the beacon of a sustainable lifestyle. Architect Anita designed their home using cargo containers and eco-artisan Grayson filled it with beautifully crafted upcycle furniture. Now the challenge will be to raise their kiddos into responsible, caring, eco-conscious members of society. So yeah, that is their backstory so far. I'm gonna go ahead and hop in, create a sim. There won't be any gameplay or anything in this, but I just wanted to introduce the family and just share what I wanna do and the direction I wanna take the gameplay. All right, so here's a first look at the family. So this is Miss Anita Stamper. Anita, she is such a boss. She is an architect. I would imagine that that's what she studied in the university. And Anita's always been the type, she's very empathic and she's always felt like such a good connection with the earth. She would just get so angry when people would leave trash everywhere. So she started recycling when she was young she would go around her town collecting bottles and cans and plastic and recycling them to just make a little extra income and that gave her such a good sense of pride knowing that she was doing her little part no matter how small to help take care of the planet so Anita's current aspiration is a eco innovator which is one of the aspirations that came with this pack and it says this sims wants to build a better greener community her traits are family oriented she is a maker and she is a green so basically a maker it says they become happy when they're making things they become sad when it's been too long since completing a project on the fabricator 
um, candle making station, juice fizzer, or wood working table. They do not receive negative effects from crafting or repair failures. So basically, they're very innovative people. They're very good with their hands and they are kind of solution oriented. That's what I'm getting from that description. Also, she is a green fiend. So it says, these Sims are happiest when they're living on a green street and will continuously work towards making their environment more eco-friendly, which ties back to her in her younger days, you know, just recycling and trying to make her environment as healthy as possible. So I'm just going to zip through her outfits. And I love this hair. It's really showing off her natural curls. And Miss Anita is barefaced most days and she is absolutely gorgeous. She is a mom and being an architect, like her job really doesn't require her to get all glamorous. And like I said, she is gorgeous all on her own. She recently started the new career of the civil, civil engineer, if I'm not mistaken. She's on that career track. So um, she's at entry level, but she has the know-how from what she studied at university. And I'm just going through some of her outfits. Nothing too special. This family is really, really low key. I would say the most dressed up that the, that Anita ever gets is like for something formal or for a party. But yeah, just looking through here I love her natural hair and her hair is twisted up on the hot weather outfit cuz honey if you if your hair is more of a natural texture you know how hot it gets so <laughs> I really really love the fact that her hair is twisted up there and everywhere else she's just pretty much out and natural so this is mr. Grayson and I would imagine that Grayson, he he's an artisan, so he likes to craft things with his hands. He's very, very handy, and he's very, very inventive. Like his wife, but his wife is more so like the brains. He's more so like the brawn in my head. Grayson comes from a long line of um, crafters and carpenters and um, people who've built things with their bare hands. It's something that he enjoys. He he wants to start his own business um, made from sustainable items and recycled pieces just giving new life to things that people see as trash he likes to restore things and bring them back to their former glory so his aspiration is a master maker and the description for that is this sim this sim wants to become an expert at fabrication yeah so like I said he likes to build things he likes to create things and restore things to their former glory his traits he is family oriented he loves the outdoors and he is also a green fiend like Anita that's how they connected so they known each other from their late teens um, they met um, at a rally to um, get more sustainable practices and um, they just kind of kept in touch since then they lost touch when Anita went off to university but once she was done, they met up and they started to kindle their love and they built a life together. As you can tell, Mr. Grayson is graying just a little bit. Both of them were very, very um, career oriented. Anita with her architecture and Grayson with his family business. So they waited a little bit later until they were like in their 30s to start having kids. But you know, they still look good for their age. They are technically adults, but they just started adulthood. So I'm just going through some of his outfits. Grayson is wearing this holy shirt because he refuses to throw away anything that he feels like he can still get a use out of but yeah they're just really low-key people they're not really glamorous they just they do what they need all their old although their house is really really nice um, it's made out of sustainable materials and they try to live more minimally so going to Maya Maya is a twin her twin is McKenna and Maya is definitely more on the active side um, out of the two she's more of the rough and tall twin miss Maya she is a social butterfly and um, her and her sister are on the local kids soccer team and 
she just loves that soccer team she also likes playing in the dirt and running around and she has a insect form like she really really loves just being outdoors just like her dad and they kind of have that connection um, because they can go camping and she really doesn't have an issue with it but her sister is a little bit more on the prim and proper side but we'll get to her in just a bit mckenna also has more natural texture hair even though her hair is more on the wavy side they are um mixed and um you know their parents are in a interracial relationship so i definitely wanted to make sure that their features were somewhere in between to represent both parents that was definitely so important for me um, so yeah this is Miss Maya and Miss Maya she loves pants she loves shorts she loves sneakers like she's really not quote-unquote girly um, she just likes being free and not being tied down to what people think that a girl is supposed to be she just likes living her life and she likes being in touch with the world around her so just going into some of her other outfits mama definitely likes to make sure everyone is coordinated so that's why she's wearing that green dress and her athletic outfit just a regular basic shirt and shorts combo sweats and a long sleeve shirt for the jammies she has a frilly dress for parties but I would imagine that's something that her mom already picked out for her this is her swimwear outfit hot weather with the braids love the braids like I, t I tell you like when it's hot we gotta braid the hair up <laughs> and then this is her cold weather outfit right here now this is her sister McKenna so Miss McKenna is definitely more on the prim and proper side I wouldn't necessarily call her like bougie or stuck up or anything she's just very very particular about how her things are and she likes her area to remain nice and neat she currently has the creativity aspiration and she has the neat trait so mckenna definitely loves her skirt she loves her blouses with like the frilly sleeves and the pleats and the things like that she's definitely more on the reserve side but she can be social she's just a little bit more hesitant whereas maya is a little bit more out there the other organization that the girls are a part of is is scouts and McKenna definitely enjoys being a part of scouts she loves all of the little friends that she has and she likes feeling like the things that she's learning is helping the world very similar to her mom so definitely Maya takes more after her dad and McKenna takes more after her mom and although Maya and McKenna look very very similar there are slight differences so McKenna um, I'm sorry Maya has her dad's eyes and McKenna's she doesn't have her mom's eyes they're like in between her dad and her mom's also both of them have freckles but we all know freckles aren't exact um, so their freckles are different I just wanted to have those subtle differences because they are two different people I'm gonna go ahead and go through Miss McKenna's outfit so here's her formal wear just like her sisters although her hair is slightly different but a similar style her athletic wear McKenna is definitely a pink girl she is pinked down honey her dress is just like her sister's just in a different color her swimwear her outdoor wear this outfit is the same as her sister's just in a different swatch and then her winter wear and last but not least is the baby boy Kingsley so mr. Kingsley is a independent toddler but he has a little attitude on him he is spoiled pretty much everyone is at his beck and call so mom and dad are really gonna have to be able to find that balance and kind of temper Kingsley in independence and help him to learn skills and to develop in a way that's structured but also it's going to help him to grow and develop at his own pace. Mr. Kingsley gets kind of angry 
um and like just irritable he's a very irritable toddler i'll put it like that like when he wants something he wants it right then and there so um that's going to be another challenge raising him and <laughs> getting him out of his ways and getting him doing what he needs to do like he even gets angry like when you're teaching him to go potty and like sometimes when he feels like you're taking too long to feed him or when he doesn't want to go to bed like he is a little fussy but for the most part he is adorable and I'm just gonna go through his outfit so this is his everyday wear his formal wear here coordinating with the fam bam his nighttime wear his party outfit his swimwear with his hair pushed back his hot weather with the cute little frog and his winter wear all bundled up. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and hop off here, you guys. If you are as excited about the Stamper family as I am, definitely let me know with your likes and your comments. It really helps me to figure out what I should do more of. So if you guys enjoyed, definitely let me know. Also, if you made it this far in the video and haven't done so already, feel free to subscribe. What are you waiting for? It's free and you get to hear more of my voice and see more of my content. Let me know what you want to see in this LP. If you have already played with the Eco Lifestyle Expansion Pack, definitely give us some tips and tricks. It helps me out so much. I love reading all of you guys' comments and it definitely makes the game play so much better for me because I'm not out flailing like a lost person like I do most of the time but you know what it is what it is um again don't forget to like comment and share this video it helps me in the channel out more than you know if you're interested in winning a free copy of the eco lifestyle expansion pack again check in the description box or click the car on the screen and check out that video make sure you do all of the things to qualify and yeah I'm gonna hop off here thank you so much for watching I will talk to you in the next video bye guys